Did you know that there is an antidepressant that doesn't typically cause weight gain or sexual problems? As a psychiatrist, I've seen antidepressants change lives, and I've prescribed them thousands of times. But there's one I often turn to when the going gets tough. Wellbutrin. It's not your typical antidepressant. In fact, it works in a unique way that sets it apart from the rest. And it's this unique mechanism of action that makes Wellbutrin stand out from the crowd. It offers benefits that many other antidepressants just can't. And who am I to wax poetic about Wellbutrin? My name is Dr. Salman Aziz Mirza, triple board certified in adult psychiatry, child and adolescent psychiatry, and addiction medicine. And if you're looking for an antidepressant that is a jack of all trades, well, stay tuned, because I got you. <laughs> Did you know that not all antidepressants work the same way in your brain? Well, butrin, also known as bupropion, its generic name, belongs to a special category that might surprise you. When we talk about antidepressants, most people think of SSRIs, like Prozac or Zoloft. These medications primarily target serotonin, often called the feel-good chemical. But well, butrin takes a different approach. It's what we call an atypical antidepressant. So what makes well, butrin atypical? Unlike SSRIs, Wellbutrin focuses on two other important brain chemicals, dopamine and norepinephrine. Dopamine is linked to motivation and reward, while norepinephrine affects energy and alertness. By targeting these chemicals, Wellbutrin can offer unique benefits. Think of it like this. If your brain is a car, SSRIs are like adjusting the steering wheel to help you navigate emotions better. Wellbutrin, on the other hand, is more like fine-tuning the engine to give you more power and drive. Both can help you reach your destination, better mental health, but they do it in different ways. This unique mechanism can lead to some interesting effects. Many people report improved energy and focus when taking Wellbutrin. It's not uncommon to hear patients say they feel more motivated and productive. This can be especially helpful for those whose depression symptoms include low energy and difficulty concentrating. Another key difference is how Wellbutrin affects sexual function. While many SSRIs can cause sexual side effects like decreased libido or difficulty reaching orgasm, Wellbutrin often doesn't have these issues. In fact, some studies suggest it might even improve sexual function in some people. It's important to note that being atypical doesn't mean Wellbutrin is better or worse than other antidepressants. It's just different. Each person's brain chemistry is unique, so what works well for one person might not be the best choice for another. Wellbutrin's effects on dopamine can be a double-edged sword. Did you know this medication, praised for its energy-boosting properties, might actually be unsuitable for certain individuals? Let's unpack some of the cons that make Wellbutrin such a complex choice in depression treatment. Like any medication touted as a miracle, Wellbutrin isn't perfect. It comes with its own unique set of potential side effects and risks. Some people may experience things like insomnia, dry mouth, or nausea when taking Wellbutrin. These side effects are usually mild and often improve over time, but they can be bothersome for some individuals. One of the more significant concerns with Wellbutrin is its potential to increase anxiety in some people. This is particularly important to consider if you have a history of anxiety disorders. The same energizing effects that many find helpful can sometimes tip over into feelings of restlessness or nervousness. It's also crucial to note that Wellbutrin isn't suitable for everyone. People with a history of seizures or eating disorders, for example, may not be good candidates for this medication. Wellbutrin can lower the seizure threshold, making it potentially dangerous for those with seizure disorders. For individuals with eating disorders, the appetite suppressing effects of Wellbutrin could exacerbate their condition. Another consideration is that Wellbutrin can interact with other medications. This means that your doctor will need to carefully review all the medications you're taking before prescribing Wellbutrin. It's also important to be upfront about any supplements or over-the-counter medications you're using as well. While Wellbutrin is generally well tolerated, it's not without more serious risks. In rare cases, it can cause more serious side effects like allergic reactions or changes in mood or behavior. These are uncommon, but it's important to be aware of them and report any unusual symptoms to your healthcare provider. Now, let's shift gears and explore Wellbutrin's hidden talents. Did you know that this antidepressant moonlights in other areas of mental health? Its unconventional uses might make you rethink what you know about psychiatric medications. One of Wellbutrin's most well-known alternative uses is as a smoking cessation aid. 
In fact, it's marketed under a different name, Zyban, specifically for this purpose. The medication can help reduce cravings and withdrawal symptoms, making it easier for people to quit smoking. This isn't just a happy accident, it's directly related to how Wellbutrin affects the brain. Remember how we talked about Wellbutrin's impact on dopamine? Well, this same mechanism that can help with depression also plays a role in addiction. By influencing dopamine levels, Wellbutrin can help reduce the reward sensation associated with smoking, making it easier for people to break the habit. But that's not the only surprising use for Wellbutrin. Some doctors prescribe it off-label to help manage symptoms of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD. While it's not FDA approved for this purpose, some patients find it helpful for improving focus and reducing impulsivity. Again, this ties back to Wellbutrin's effects on dopamine and norepinephrine, which are also involved in attention and focus. Wellbutrin's versatility doesn't stop there. It's sometimes used to treat seasonal affective disorder, a type of depression that's related to changes in seasons. Some people find that Wellbutrin helps alleviate the fatigue and low mood associated with this condition. People may end up using Wellbutrin for the fall and the winter seasons, and they will usually discontinue its use in the spring and the summer. There's even some research exploring Wellbutrin's potential in treating sexual dysfunction. While many antidepressants can cause sexual side effects, Wellbutrin might actually help improve sexual function in some people. This makes it an interesting option for patients who are experiencing sexual side effects from other antidepressants. So why is Wellbutrin so versatile? It all comes back to its unique mechanism of action. By targeting dopamine and norepinephrine, Wellbutrin can influence a wide range of brain functions. This includes mood, motivation, focus, and even addictive behaviors. It's like having a Swiss army knife in the world of psychiatric medications. However, it's crucial to remember that while Wellbutrin has many potential uses, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Its effectiveness can vary greatly from person to person, and what works well for one condition might not be suitable for another. Always consult with a healthcare professional before considering Wellbutrin for any off-label uses. It's also worth noting that these alternative uses often require different dosing strategies compared to when Wellbutrin is used for depression. For example, the dosage used for smoking cessation is typically different from that used to treat depression. This is another reason why professional medical guidance is essential. Ever notice those letters after Wellbutrin on your prescription? They're not just random. They can make a big difference in how the medication affects you. SR and XL might seem like simple abbreviations, but they represent important variations in how Wellbutrin works in your body. Let's break down what these letters mean. SR stands for sustained release, while XL means extended release. Think of it like this. SR is like a slow and steady drip of medication throughout the day, while XL is more like a gradual all-day release. To put it in everyday terms, SR is like sipping a cup of coffee over a few hours, while XL is like a slow-release caffeine patch. These different release forms can significantly impact how you take Wellbutrin and how it affects you. SR typically requires twice-daily dosing, usually in the morning and the afternoon. XL, on the other hand, is designed for once-daily dosing often taken in the morning. This difference in dosing schedule can be crucial for some people. For instance, if you often forget to take medications or have a hectic schedule, the once daily XL form might be more convenient. But it's not just about convenience. The release form can also influence side effects. Some people find that the XL version leads to fewer side effects because it provides a more consistent level of medication in the body throughout the day. On the flip side, Others might prefer the SR version if they need more flexibility in timing their doses or if they're more sensitive to the medication's effects. For patients who have had gastric bypass or sleeves, the SR version is the way to go. So how does a doctor decide which form is right for a patient? It's not a one-size-fits-all decision. Your doctor will consider factors like your lifestyle, other medications you're taking, and how you've responded to antidepressants in the past. For example, if you're prone to insomnia, your doctor might lean towards the SR version, allowing for more control over when the medication is active in your system. It's also worth mentioning that there are generic versions of both SR and XL Wellbutrin. These generics are designed to work the same way as the brand name versions, but they might have slightly different inactive ingredients. Some people find they respond differently to generic versions compared to brand name Wellbutrin. So it's something to discuss with your doctor if you notice any changes in effectiveness or in side effects. Understanding these differences between SR and XL can empower you to have more informed discussions with your healthcare provider. It's not just about taking a pill, 
it's about finding the right formulation that fits your life and helps manage your symptoms effectively. By knowing the pros and the cons of each version, you can work with your doctor to fine tune your treatment plan. Remember, the goal is to find the version of Wellbutrin that works best for you. Whether it's SR, XL, the right choice is the one that helps you manage your symptoms with minimal side effects and fits well into your daily routine. As we've seen, Wellbutrin stands out for several reasons. Its unique mechanism targeting dopamine and norepinephrine sets it apart from typical antidepressants. This leads to benefits like improved energy and focus, along with fewer sexual side effects. However, it's not suitable for everyone, particularly those with certain health conditions or a history of seizures. While Wellbutrin is a favorite for many psychiatrists, including myself, it's crucial to remember that the best antidepressant varies for each person. If you're considering antidepressant treatment, talk to your doctor about your options. They can help determine if Wellbutrin might be right for you based on your specific needs and medical history. Thanks for watching, and if you learned something new, make sure to like and subscribe, and share the video with family and friends. Drop a comment in the section below if you've tried Wellbutrin, and let me know your experiences with it. Was it the med that made all the difference, or was it a total disaster? Until next time, be safe, and be well.